Hey, it's Radical Dan. Uh, I just got my grid tie inverter come in. It's uh, supposed to be a 300 watt. It's uh, for a 10 and a half to a 28 volt DC input. <clears throat> and what it is, you run your uh, 12 volt, which I've got running from the battery bank right here, which is just a small bank. But I've got it running the input running from there, which is being fed by the, the solar uh, panels, which I've got 180 watts here, and then there's 45 there. It should be like 225 altogether because they're parallel and they're all the same, you know, 12 volt. What's bugging me is this thing here is only reading 51. It's balancing between 50 and 53 watts, and I don't understand why that is. Because last year I, I, I doubled up the panels on either side for a 24 volt. And I had less panels and I was getting more out of it. I'm just going to wait and see. Maybe it's a defective unit. But uh, I should be getting, you know, at least, because it's almost noon, okay? So I should be getting, even if I was only getting 50% of my my power, I should be getting around 100 watts at least. You know, cruising back in. But I'm only getting like 52. I mean, come on, really? That's 225. That's like a quarter. So I don't know what that, what the deal with that is. But we'll let it run for a little bit and see what it does. All right, this is uh, kind of like a ghetto uh, garden seat. It's gonna be for my wife. It's uh, off a piece of a uh, uh, hand off a rototiller, and then I put a uh, Lazy Susan uh, swivel, and then we'll mount this uh, seat to it right here. And then I'll paint it up, of course. This is like when she works on her flowers or gardening, whatever. She can put this wherever she wants and sit down and then sit down on it and do her weeding and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> right on. This is the beginnings of the Hillbilly Hot Tub. I got this uh, IBC tote for $25 at a recycle place. It had herring oil in it, which I've cleaned out. But basically, you cut the top off right here. And uh, here's the other part right here. Went and got these pallets yesterday. This uh, company out on 55 has got stacks of them. They said, take all I want. I said, well, I'll probably be back for more. But uh, <clears throat> you basically set this up. And uh, you frame on the outside and put your slats down. And then, of course, paint or stain or whatever. But you cut this top out. This is going to be, I'm going to cut this out. And turn this into a little uh, uh, wood-fired burner. Oh, look at that spider. Holy shit. Hey, buddy. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to put a wood fire in here. Ooh, he's fast. I'm going to cut this out and put a... Uh, make a thing where you can put firewood and stuff in and put a little stack on it and put some copper uh, tubing inside and run that to the inside of here. So when you come out, maybe build a deck around it. This is going to go back behind the house on the patio. But then you can throw some wood in there, start a fire, and it'll heat the coil up, and heat, it'll heat the water up, and it'll keep the, the water in here warm. I don't have any idea for jets yet, but I just think the idea of having a little <laughs> hot tub in the back, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, here's the update on the off-grid camper. Um, little curtain thing set up. I put some trim up here on the top. I'm going. I don't know if I'm going to paper these or paint these yet. I'm not sure. But, uh, we've got an adapter coming from eBay because I got this old 19-inch uh, monitor from a computer, and it's got the uh, the VGA output on it. I've got an S-Video cord, which will go down to the DVD player, and so there was an adapter on eBay for like 10 bucks, and they're going, they're shipping it to me. It should be here by next Saturday. So that way, I can actually play DVDs. Uh, i got an old computer speaker system, which I was playing on a little, little uh, screen, which is fine. It works great, but then I was like, why can't I put on something bigger? It's like, I don't know, like a 15 or whatever that is, because it didn't cost me anything. I've already had this stuff, <clears throat> and of course, it'll all run off the battery bank. And, uh, here's my, uh, here's my, uh, rescue fucking drill. 
the DeWalt, I got it at the, at the uh, ReStore because it didn't have a battery and it was like 10 bucks and then they marked it down to like 5 and I was like, dude, it's a DeWalt. So I got online and I bought a brand new battery on uh, online for $16. So 21 bucks is a, you know, having a good quality drill, which is, this is what I got from Harbor Freight. I'm not saying anything bad about it, but it was about the same price. And that's fucking DeWalt, you know, so. And I already had the charger and stuff, so, hey, good deal, right? All right. Well, I don't know if I showed you the toilet, the potty idea set up. This, yeah, put a little toilet seat on it. And it mounts right there. The door kicks open on the side. It's just a little bucket. You know, you pull a bucket out in the middle of the night and get her again. Pour it out and go dump it. So, yeah, that's your... Uh, your ghetto stuff right there. We'll clean it up. I got some carpet I'm going to put down in it. And, uh, yeah, so I'll put this little shelf in the middle here. Put the trash can underneath it. So yeah, it's coming along. So, that's right. Go down. Have a good one. Oh yeah, I don't uh, know if I... I think I made a video of this earlier. I'm not sure. But, this is what I picked up a few weeks ago at the ReStore little uh, 3,000 watt home light generator picked up $49 so this is the backup for the camper like when there's no sun and you need to charge your batteries up and kick this thing on a little extension cord and plug it in inside put a little battery charger I've got a couple battery regular like car battery chargers that uh, you can plug into the generator and kick on there and then they'll charge up your batteries you know if you're not you don't have a vehicle or if the sun's not shining or whatever but yeah that's going to go with the camper here that's the backup it's at 3000 watt i run my welder off of it barely <laughs> but you know it runs like the grinder and electric chainsaw i actually took this down to the end of the the lane out there where because we're like on four and a half acres so i'm down to the end of the lane where there's no power down there and i had this in the trailer uh this actual trailer right here when i took the ghetto quad down there and uh, i was down there trimming around some tree stumps and stuff with an electric weed eater people driving by looking like how the fuck are you doing that but <laughs> anyway yeah so that's the backup for the camper so uh when i get it put together i had a couple people interested in buying it well i went and got some paint too some, i'm gonna spray paint the frame all clean this all up spray paint it black and then the uh the top of it's gonna be white i'll spray it over here to see what what it looks like over top of it but yeah, we're going to paint the, the whole top of it. It's going to be white, and then the frame's going to be black. I put air in the tires. Of course, they're old. I'm going to have to put some inner tubes in it. Because if I keep it and put it at a, you know, at a bug-out spot or a, you know, one of our, when we get some property or whatever, then I'll just put inner tubes in them just to get it there, and then they'll set there forever. But, all right. It's radical, Dan. Have a good one.